Hey Spuds, welcome back to another video of the Fazbear Channel. I don't know, but I'm Jamie, and today I'm joined by my wonderful, fabulous, beautiful <laughs> wife, Shabba. I've missed this. You've missed this? Yeah, You've missed I've the forgotten compliments. how, um, your, like, how auctioneer your intro is. Ah, uh, okay, you've missed auctioneer Jamie. <laughs> auctioneer Jamie, bring it to the bedroom. No, thank you. <laughs> I mean, because I was going to say, I do compliment you outside of the intro of my video. You do. This is not the only place. In a significantly more authentic way, I should also add. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you imagine going downstairs? And here she comes, having done the most magnificent fart, my wife, Shaba. I could see myself saying that, to I be fair. I actually could see you saying that. Because <laughs> I've heard you do the most magnificent farts, so there we You're go. Welcome. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video What is... are we doing? I don't actually okay. really know. I found this article that was like, tacky wedding things. There's like 29 tacky wedding things. We're not going to react to all of them because okay. some of them are inappropriate oh with a capital i can we talk about them after the video well they're not inappropriate in a fun way they're just terrible i kind of want to know though I'll like you, what is the line i will tell you okay the line is if i can't blur it or beep it and it's still inappropriate wait and these are like wedding themes yeah my mind is going to all sorts of places <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm intrigued. So that's what we're going to have a look at today. We're okay. going to have a look react. Technically, their wedding fails, I guess. This is making me feel some kind of way because I'm not very, like, I don't feel the most comfortable, like, judging other people's tastes. Like, I'm very yeah. open-minded. I'm like, you know what? You do you. But also, I'll have my own opinions. But if you're saying that they're, like, no, inappropriate, yeah, no, that's worry. different to just being, like, not of someone's taste, You're right? not going to have a problem judging these weddings. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's going to get spicy. Well. Like a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> So many spicy things went through my head, and then my mouth said pepper. Good job. I think we should. Good job, it. Jamie. <laughs> and on the topic of relationships and weddings, uh huh. <laughs> we have been together for over twelve years now, and married for over one. Don't mm -hmm. pull a sweaty face. <laughs> and I'd say that we are still finding out new things about each other. For sure. So when the paired app reached out, we were so hyped. Today's video is in paid partnership with the Paired App. Thank you very much. The Paired App is a relationship care app that has daily couple questions, quizzes, relationship games, exercises, all with the aim of promoting fun, meaningful conversations between you lovebirds and us. In the time we've been using it, I definitely think we've gotten closer. I'd say so. Mm -hmm. I think it's really helped improve our relationship by making us talk about things that we wouldn't normally discuss. I agree, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes maybe we can switch up where we eat, which sounds small, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Or we can share the time that the other one thought they saw a ghost. I know, because I, I didn't know that about you. And I was like, huh. There are super insightful ones that focus on things like values, more fun ones, like spooks and superstitions. <laughs> and spicier ones too. Like, I thought it was really fun learning about each other's PDA boundaries. Yes. Oh, I did like that one. That was that pretty was good. insightful, yeah. And they range from more trivial things to larger life moments too. Like, I think we've discussed kids a lot more and in more diverse ways mm -hmm. on the Paired app than we have before. Yeah. All the language we've seen is very LGBT plus inclusive. It promotes exploration without shame which I think is super important and not only is it designed to bring you closer together but the paired app is backed by experts and research and you don't need to be a new couple or a couple going through a bad patch for it to be helpful you could be on a 20-year streak you could live together you could live apart you could be engaged you could have kids you could be Jamie, we get it it's good for many Everybody. kinds of relationships. Yay. <laughs> if you've listened to us when we've done the podcast episodes together on the Am I the Drama episodes mm -hmm. together, we've always said that communication is key for a healthy relationship. Yes. And the Paired app can help with this in a really fun way. Oh, also a feature that I really wanted to shout out because my silly ADHD brain is so bad it's with not dates. silly. Sure. Is, um, but you are bad with dates. <laughs> the fact um, that there's like this timeline of your relationship where mm -hmm. you can add like customizable moments and and milestones that just work for you. It can be like favorite moments in a relationship, when we got married is on yeah. there, when we got the cats like individually, which yeah. is so cute. And like, I totally didn't forget that Jamie's tea day anniversary was was just a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you didn't forget. <laughs> I would have done if it wasn't for the app. So if you want to try the paired app with your partner, you can click the link in the description box to get a seven day free trial and 25% off paired premium to help you maintain and deepen your connection even more. And you can connect your paired account with your partner. So only one of you needs to get the paired premium for you both to benefit. Yeah. All right. I'm so intrigued. Can you please show me? Like, yes. What? A, what? I can what? show you. 
Are you ready? No, I don't think so. So I found this. Mm-hmm. 29 couples with ridiculously tacky weddings that make me think they might not be mature enough to get married at all. It doesn't get classier than a COVID-themed wedding. <laughs> are you getting a vibe? Like a COVID-themed wedding. So when people are like, literally, I have this one party, which is like often deemed by many people to be the biggest, most important party of your life. Yeah. They went, yep. Yeah. Gonna sprinkle me some Miss Rona on that. Oh, yeah. On purpose. Dress code PPE. Legit. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> so, but let's have a look, shall Favor, we? Favour, jab. <laughs> No, the favors are mask. That's more awesome. A little bomb of hand sanitizer. Oh, Very valuable. That's actually kind of cute. COVID times. Hand sa- I've actually but seen hand sanity on the favors list for weddings generally. I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad shout. There's loads of people around. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do for us? Honey. Honey. Yeah. Is that enough sweet? Oh, yeah. I remember it's like, thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah. Because we also had to have a pun. Yeah. Okay. Just warning you, we're not reacting to all 29 because okay. some of them are just not safe for video. Okay. Right? Okay, okay. This couple thought these signs were a good idea. That dress looks amazing on you, but I can't wait to see it on the floor. Put a baby in me, a girl if possible. I mean, this isn't a we're bad starting wedding off, like, theme. Tame. It's just gross. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get it. Is it. Did they make these for any one to hold is this like a makeshift photo booth i think no i think this is the wedding couple and these are signs they're holding in their photographs so like looking back on your day imagine if you had a boy and he went through your wedding photos and was like ew I like that you think that that's the worst thing about this oh (laughs) i mean i think there's lots of things about it yeah it's just it it's it's interesting i i'm I'm saying I'm trying not to judge too much. If this is what you want to do, fine. What I'm saying is like, maybe you think these things and you don't need to stick them on a chalkboard sign, you know? Yeah. Some things are best kept in the head. Whispered. <laughs> and for the wedding night. Whispered. Whispered. Maybe just unspoken, apart from between the couple. You're telling me that it's not like sexy when someone's like, mm, can't wait to see this off of you. Yeah, no, but between the couple. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not whispered. in front of everybody else. <laughs> I'm not I'll suggesting whisper. they're at the front of the aisle. Like, I do. And I can't wait to see you just on the floor. <laughs> like, no. Put a baby in me, please. <laughs> but not a boy. <laughs> so I thought you were going to start singing. But not a boy. <laughs> just like burst into song about the wedding night. <laughs> All in ASMR. Hey, oh. an ASMR themed wedding would Ew. be a vibe. I want to see how that played out. No. I object. <laughs> Excuse me, what? What? I object. <laughs> oh, oh dear. An okay. ASMR disco. I want right. to go to Shabba, that. We're on the theme of wedding fails here. Okay. We're moving on. This bride had the groomsman walk down the aisle with signs of things her groom to be had called her in the past, including Fairy Fox and Sexy Raspberry. What's this? Is that a sexy raspberry? Or is it raspy <laughs> as in like your raspy <laughs> butt? Oh. <laughs> What is a raspy butt? I don't know, it sounds like a fart. When I hear the word raspy, I think fart. Isn't raspy when you're like, I can't talk? Oh, maybe, Isn't yeah. that rasping? Or like... Is that, that doesn't sound like a real word anymore. Raspy. Like, I was rasping for breath. No? Gasping. <laughs> no, but I'm sure raspy, like yeah, rasp oh, is a breath thing. to do with thing. voice. Ah. D- d- what? We need to Google this right now. Google. Raspy voice. A raspy voice means that the vocal cords are inflamed or swollen. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sexy swollen vocal cords. <laughs> I don't mm. think that's what they meant. What a lovely compliment. Okay, so. What did she actually say? She, I think this was on like Insta stories and she said, some people asking about the signs in our wedding. I had all the groomsmen pick a word that Jer had used to describe me or how he referred Jer, to me. right? Like Jeremy? <laughs> like Jer. Jer? I don't know. She was like Jer, like Jer Bear. Jer. Jer. <laughs> Just carry on. Jer. Referred to shush or a nickname and they each picked one and I had all the words painted on these signs and the groomsmen carried them down the aisle at our wedding. It was a surprise to Jer. Yeah. <laughs> and then the flower girls carried one that said, and now, and my dad carried one that said, she's yours. We hung the signs on the wall in our first apartment in LA. I actually think this is cute. Let's read. Fiery Fox. Cute. Sexy Raspy. Undetermined. <laughs> Daisy Braids. Like she had daisies in her hair one time. Like I think that's adorable. If okay. that's if it's as wholesome as this, pure joy. That's cute. Okay. Tough. Adorable. Tough. Passionate. Determined. Orge. Orge. Maybe her name is Audrey and he's Jeremy. Orginger. My wife. 
Oh, see, that's cute. Train tracky. Train tracksy. Is that tracksy? I think that's tracksy. Train tracksy. No, train, tra train tracksy. <laughs> Babe. Squint. And now she's yours. I actually think this is really cute. Is this bad? I think it's because, as a whole, like pet names and like names within couples are a little bit like cringe sometimes. And it just, the concept of the groomsman, also, that's a lot of groomsmen. Yeah. The concept of the groomsman. Nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot. Carrying them down the aisle does feel a bit weird because it's almost like they're calling you that. And I'm like, mm. I don't know. To me, it just feels very unnecessary and not adorable enough to warrant being in a wedding, but it is definitely not the worst thing. See, for me, there's a line where something's like, look, you do you. I wouldn't do yeah, it, but you do you. This is a you do you thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're like, well, no, I, I have a right yeah. to judge on this, and this is like, not. This is not the one, babe. Remove the post. You know? Yeah. <laughs> not cute. You. Must delete later. Can, one of those. I must delete now. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I think, yeah, this is on the right side of that line. I think it's yeah. the only thing that makes me feel a little bit like, mm, about sexy it. Sexy raspy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the sexy raspberry. It's the fact that, like... No, the sexy inflamed vocal cords. The sexy inflamed vocal cords. It's the fact that, like, it's like, oh, it's, it's very, like, this is the bride show. And this uh... is her centric. It's like, these are all of the thing. And now she's yours. Like... I think it feeds into for what for me is like the uncomfortable right. meaning of weddings, which is like... Well, maybe. And now she own uh, like, I don't, yeah, I, I, if I oh, think too more about it, her. it doesn't really make sense. But the whole thing is like, you've owned her with all of these things, but now you can also call her yours. yours. Mm. That, yeah, that's a bit yeah. odd. But like you do. You know what? If, that, if that's what works for you as a couple, cool. I want to see if the bridesmaids brought down the equivalent for the groom. What would they would be, be for like us? Sexy straw. like... Shabum hole. <laughs> well, you said it. <laughs> and that's why we didn't do this. Not just because we didn't like it, but because it would have been very embarrassing. What would yours be? Jamie! I just, I just shout Jamie all the time. Okay. I'm like, Jamie! Jamie! That's oh. your I've seen a spider voice. I call you my love. Yeah. I call you babe. Yeah. All right. If you we're rating be. it, that one's a pass. Yeah, sure. Okay. Approved. This couple thought this was appropriate to use a quote from Lolita in their wedding favors. I don't know what Lolita is. I didn't know either. Okay. And then I googled okay, it. Okay, don't tell me yet. Let me just see the quote. Okay. It was love at first sight, at last sight, at ever and ever sight. What? It's a bit of a confusing quote. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure I'd have chosen it, but okay. It's, uh, it's about, I don't know how to say this in a video friendly way, but it's basically a book about an adult man who develops feelings for a underage girl called and calls her Lolita. And somebody thought that they would do that on their wedding favours, which just feels entirely inappropriate. And it just instills in me, always make sure you know the context of the quotes and things that you like and make sure that they are appropriate because this is very not appropriate. What makes me feel sad is that this is clearly someone who's gotten the favour, right? There's like their finger on what I assume is like the wedding table linen or whatever. Yeah. And one of two things has happened. They either know and they're like, well, this is a bit dodge. Let's share it. And they've put it online, which is a bit mean. Yeah. Or they're like, oh, so cute sharing it. And then there's been like an onslaught of online stuff where people have been like, yeah, oh, it's a bit. It's a bit sad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just make take. sure you know. Not the drama. The context. Just bad mistake. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those like ignorant things yeah. where it's like, look it up. It happens. Yeah. We move on. What What is this as a favour anyway? Is it a hanky? I don't know. No, it looks just it's more just like to be a hanky. It's this big, right? The wedding favour, <laughs> you're expected to frame it and put it up in your house. I don't like... Which you might not want to do. Because <laughs> at first I was like, oh, is it like one of those, because we were going to do those cute little paper bombs where it's like paper that you can just chuck outside and it becomes flowers and stuff yeah yeah like a little oh you thought flower. maybe it was that yeah but it looks material it does look material anyway this couple wanted to have a joint wedding and funeral the stakes for weddings and a funeral to <laughs> very does. different context okay are you ready no <laughs> dear friends and family of the blood for anonymity and <laughs> <laughs> anonymity that, that's it anonymity anonymity <laughs> Anonymity. And that's it. Is it An anonymity? Anonymity. <laughs> what were you saying? Anonymity. Anonymity. <laughs> I don't remember. Beautiful. <laughs> Some of you may have gotten the news already, but Aunt Karen has sadly passed away from natural causes. We're all deeply sad and I'm sorry, I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Why are you laughing? Anonymity. <laughs> Jamie! I'm just also really curious about where this is going. Karen! I'm very sorry for your loss. I'm not laughing about that. We're all deeply saddened about her loss, but we promise that we will not cancel the wedding next week. In her honour, 
we know she would want us to celebrate and have a day filled with love and joy. That's, that's not sounding sweet. too bad to no, me. That's very because, sweet. You that know. also must have been a really hard decision. Yeah. There's one thing worse, just digress just very tiny. I've seen on a couple of forums when I was looking at, you know, like wedding advice when I was like mm-hmm. freaking out. So many people were like, I've had people literally die at my ceremony. They've had like grandparents pass away or like uh, people have heart attacks and need to go to the hospital in like really severe ways, which like obviously oh sucks so much, but like, can you what imagine you the stress like what yeah what do you do this must also be stressful yeah. but i think it's really sweet that they're like and you should, i'm sure aunt karen would not have wanted them to have cancelled Cancel the wedding yeah so cute i'd also like to add that the funeral costs are skyrocketing and we will be having an open casket session during some of the wedding processions i think this is where it gets a little odd mm. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to stop by during the wedding to say goodbyes. She will be on display for those who wish to gain some closure. Remember, even though losing ones we love can be heartbreaking, there is also a joy in celebrating love and partnership in marriage. We're excited to see you all there on Saturday. And so is Karen. Someone said though, RIP Aunt Karen, that woman loved weddings. Good thing she'll get to partake in one last one. That is kind of cute. For Aunt Karen, this is sweet. But she won't know. For a wedding, it's a bit (laughs) odd. It's just like, imagine walking down the aisle and it's just Aunt Karen in the (laughs) casket. Oh, Karen. yeah, I'm I feel really with bad it sits them on the line. for losing someone so close to their wedding. That is horrible. I do get though, logistically, it's a cute send off. Like you've already spent all of this money. There's catering. Everyone's going to be together. One week feels like a good timeline. I mean, in Asian land that I operate in, it's normally like the day after, right? Yeah. It needs to be quite quick. So sure, if you're saving costs. Do you know how I would have done it a bit differently? If they wanted to roll it into one to save some costs, I'd have done it as two separate events, but maybe at the same venue on the same day. So like yeah. maybe have a morning ceremony to say goodbye to Karen and then a wedding celebration totally in the normal. afternoon. Especially if you're there for a church service. Yeah. Cute. Like I just, that makes so much sense. It's just the fact that open casket during the wedding procession. Do you know how I'm thinking? Do you know what I'm thinking? For Karen's funeral, this is sweet. I can see the like positive sentiments in it. Yeah. For the wedding couple, this is freaking weird. Yeah. That's that I'm like struggling to see which side it fits my on that line. My head is going to so many different places, and I don't want to say most of my thoughts because they feel very insensitive to Karen. <laughs> but I'm just like, what is Karen wearing? Yeah. Is Karen in photographs? And what do you wear? Like, if this is a Western wedding, do you wear black? Or do you dress like colourful for the wedding? No, I want it separate. I'd My want sympathies separate. and congratulations. Yeah. It's an odd vibe. It's a little bit odd. I th- it's I, a little bit odd. For me, it would need to be separate. I feel mean. Oh. I feel really mean. I, f- I just feel mean because they've lost somebody. But at the same time, I, I objectively think it's a bit strange to have an open casket funeral at your wedding. You're right. Subjectively, like, you do you. Objectively, this is really weird. Yeah. Just being and really I honest. If I went odd. to this wedding... I'd feel a bit uncomfortable when I wouldn't know if I should be sad or happy. And I'd be a bit like, I don't know how to feel. I tell you though, this is a wedding that none of those guests are going to forget. Yeah. No one will be able to say, yeah, well, I went to a wedding that was also a funeral. Like an actual funeral. Uh Not like when you theme your 30th birthday party as your funeral to your 20s. No, like an actual funeral. Mm -hmm. They could like really lean into it and change the favours to be like very funeral based. Though That's where it would have been like very tacky. Yeah. But I think like just having Karen there is what makes me feel like okay. Okay. I I accept if this is what you want to do. I think it's weird, but I think it's very sweet in its own way. You're very nice. Okay. I love you. Sure. <laughs> okay, next. This couple used serial killer theme centerpiece. You were so excited at the beginning of that. I sentence. kind of forgot what video. Really. <laughs> okay. Finished our serial killer centerpieces slash table numbers recently and I'm super happy with how they came out. This has been an idea we've been trying to Execute since we got engaged in 2019. Only 10 more days. Oh my god. The literal serial killers. Is. It's not like a play on words where there's just like dead horrific. Frosties and Cheerios, like literal serial killers. Do you know what? If you take little photos out for like a gothic themed wedding, yeah, beautiful I, centerpieces. Not against that. Stunning colour palette. Love the little sugar candy skulls if, if they are sugar candy or if they're not. Like, cute. All right. I get you. I see you. You doing your thing. But this is like quite disgusting the reason yeah. being for me i and i blame netflix for this yeah. in many ways serial killers are not great people and we need to remember that some people are just like oh it's just a show but like when you're casting zach efron as ted bundy it's a problem 
Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, why are we glorifying That's these That's the problem. Lines? We shouldn't be glorifying or <laughs> uplifting or idolizing people like this in any way, shape or form. And having them as the centerpieces at the wedding just feels really inappropriate, really weird and just really wrong. And I feel like the use of the word execute, if that was deliberate. Execute. I know they spelt it wrong. Execute. But that just, feel, that just feels worse. Like... Oh, everything about this just makes me uncomfortable. If I went to a wedding and they had serial killers... You're at Jeffrey Dahmer table! I, I don't know if I'd go. If I saw, like... You wouldn't know before. Jeffrey Dahmer table... No, but if I arrived and it was, like, Jeffrey Dahmer table, Ted Bundy table, like, I can't remember anymore. Jack the Ripper! Yeah, I would be like, this is inappropriate and bizarre. I, 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 I so want to be a fly on the wall and see what the guests think. But just regardless... This have, is not okay. Have a gothic theme, themed wedding. Have a dark yeah, themed wedding. But gothic Do all doesn't of that need stuff, to but like it doesn't mean like yeah. gothic is a beauty and appreciation of a darker art form. Absolutely, it's not it this doesn't involve. It's not like serial killers. It's not what's the word? It's not well, glorifying murder. Murder. Yeah, <laughs> like criminal activity. That's that's no. No, that one was definitely way on the over the line on the side of just don't do it. Yeah, this is where Joey says he's so far past the line, the line is adopt you. Yeah, that's, that's this one. This couple really wanted to put their love for the Confederate flag on display. Again, if this is the line, what have you left out? This is disgusting. This is the, this is the absolute Confederate filth. flag. And it's 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 like, not even just a little. It's everything. It's it's bad in terms of just fashion as well. Not to trivialise it, but like, dude, the waistcoat and the tie. No. Inappropriate and bad fashion. Absolutely. Obviously, the inappropriate bit is far worse than a bad fashion. You can have bad fashion and that's fine. This actually makes me really uncomfortable. But shall we move on? Yeah. Yeah. I really think we should. <laughs> if you thought Kylie Jenner's Handmaid's Tale themed birthday was bad, that Wait, didn't happen. Kylie Jenner had a Handmaid's Tale themed birthday. Okay, we need to look this up after the video. No, we don't. No, we I don't. I need to see if it's true. <laughs> Get ready for this wedding theme. Guys, hear me out. I want to do a Handmaid's Tale wedding. Hold on. All my bridesmaids will be handmaids. I'll wear the green wedding dress. Groomsmen will all be dressed like drivers and watchers, and hubby will be dressed like Commander Lawrence. Food will be prepared by dressed Marthas, and the flower girl will be my mini Hannah. I'm the one that posted the look like of my kid and Hannah. What other cool things can I add? Absolutely obliterating this theme and doing something new. That would be a cool thing to do. Why do people think this is like glorifying serial killers why are you glorifying this story that was meant to be like a cautionary tale and a look into the it's themes of society it's not even a cautionary tale no, but right? it wasn't the whole point yeah. of it is that like margaret's like these things exist yeah it's happening it's ha in many ways it's already happened like am i a snowflake am i what these people <laughs> would call snowflakes because i'm like oh if when you have like hunger game themed weddings like that's not okay dude yeah. we are living in the capital it's gross but i would Oh. Yes, they would call you a snowflake. Weddings are supposed not. to be nice, and you are ruining the my sense of hope and love yeah. and humanity in terms of weddings. Why did you do this to me? Why did you invite me on this video? Sorry. I'm mad. I'm smad. I thought you would find it funny. Find me a tacky one that's not super problematic. Yeah, I know. This is, I feel like tacky was a really tame title for a lot of these. Yeah. These just are just like, like flat out. Problematic. Yeah, like. Do you have half a brain cell? Does it have even an ounce of empathy? I just, I don't get it. Why would you, your bridesmaids are supposed to be people that you care about and respect and you want with you. Why would you want them to pretend to be handmaids? It could be forgiven for ignorance if they've not seen it and they've seen other people do themed. Like clearly, like maybe they were inspired by Kylie Jenner's birthday and they I'm don't sorry. know what the handmaid's tale is. No. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. If you're saying your flower girl's going to be mini Hannah and, you know, they're going to be the Marthas and you're going to wear the green wedding, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, do you no, understand? The whole basis yeah. of the relationship is so horribly uncomfortable. It's, it's, it's like the dirtiest, most disgusting form of misogyny mm. to ever be visualised. And you want to bring that in on your wedding. It's about relationships, right? It's about, like, literally using women as birthing tools and nothing more. And you want your bride and you want to dress that. like that. And you, and you... And your your kid, no, the flower girl, at worst it's complete ignorance and following a celebrity or something else they've seen. No, at best it's complete ignorance. <laughs> at worst it's 
absolutely atrocious. And it's a disgusting omen for what you want your relationship to be like. Like, why? Why? <laughs> Maybe they haven't seen it all. That's Maybe what I was just saying. Seen, like, like the they... first, the trailer or something yeah. or some like fan fiction trailer edit where they were like, oh yeah, cute Fifty Shades of Grey meets Handmaid's Tale or something. That's the only way that I could excuse the thought. Uh-huh. I still can't excuse the thought. It's just disgusting. Yeah. I'm sorry. Wow, I'm spicier in this video than I thought. Oh, we've got it. Here it is, Shabba. Oh, this no. couple literally had a COVID-themed wedding. Everyone, please be advised, Jake and I are not cancelling the wedding next Saturday just because of some stupid virus. Oh, so they had a COVID-themed wedding in COVID. Right. Mm. In some mm. ways, that makes it a lot better. Do you know what I mean? Like, if they're like, oh, well, you know, making the best out of a bad situation. Like, maybe they're saying it's themed, wear gloves, gloves, wear masks. Like, that I could kind of get. Okay. It depends on where Hold it goes. On. Instead, we are simply asking that all of you adhere to some corona-esque rules and procedures. One, before you enter the venue, each person is required to place $100 <laughs> into the insurance honeypot bucket to cover those who may become sick as a result of the wedding. Claims for honeypot money will only be valid with a doctor's note. That is vile. That is, I thought they, do you know where I thought that was going? I thought it was like, hey, you know when like, I've asked you to give me some money for a honeymoon fund, we're calling it the COVID insurance bucket, but no, they actually made it. Absolutely. I mean, even the idea of that, we're calling it the COVID insurance is, is gross, but no, they're like, hey, if you get ill at our wedding and you know, like potentially die because we're, I don't even know where this happening. We're but refusing like, to cancel it. You know, we don't think it's sensible to protect our loved ones during a global pandemic and a, and a global lockdown. Then, um, you know, money. Give us a doctor's note though. That is really bizarre because it's like saying, look, we know some of you are probably gonna get sick and sick enough to require medical attention, but don't worry, we've got you covered. You just need to prove it. This is in America, right? I What's a hundred dollars gonna get you? No, everybody does a hundred dollars. Yeah, but like if everybody gets ill because these are super spreader yeah. events. <laughs> it's not gonna get you very far. They're probably like, oh yeah, if we've got a hundred guests and they will give a hundred dollars, then Hang That's 10,000. Thank you. My brain stopped working. <laughs> you have the math one. Yeah. Wait, did I math that right? You, you did. Yes. Yeah. Then you've got $10,000 to cover someone's hospital stay. Just the thought, though, that you would still go ahead with any oh. ounce of you believing that it was possible somebody could get that ill. And then is... you need to go to your doctor and say, hi, Mr. Doctor Person. I know the world advice has been not to go to crowded events but I went to a wedding on purpose that was COVID themed. It's not like I could have forgotten it anywhere. And uh, now to get money to pay for my potential life threatening issue. Yeah, could you write me a note? To the bride and groom so they can give me the insurance honeypot COVID money pot. What the hell? What the hell? This That's is... not the only thing they had in place. Two, each person must wear surgical graded gloves, a facial mask, and even scrubs if you so choose. Oh, well, at least they had masks. But you know what? In the land of PPE, where hospitals are really struggling to get things like scrubs and gloves, come wear them to our wedding. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Three, guests may wear anything from the official Corona color palette. Image below so we can all gather into one big Corona cell. And then we'll just skip down to show you the color scheme here. There's the Corona cell. It's kind of like a reddy, bluey tones. The only thing that I will give this wedding is as a palette. I can see how the colors here work Coronavirus together. Coronavirus is actually a really Corona's good like... wedding <laughs> Corona's serving. Not really for <laughs> outfits though. For like decor, having like burnt orange and like a dusty blue is quite nice. Yeah, but not... the sort of like purpley tones. It's, it's giving autumnal. It's giving Gilmore Girls. It's giving death. I actually think that like rusty orange color would look really beautiful as dresses with, um, yeah, like a light blue. Floral. Don't start actually okay. envisaging this wedding. I'm saying there's a way that they could have done COVID tastefully, I'm, I'm, but I'm still trying to think of a way, like why the hell am I trying to excuse these people and be like, oh yeah, there's a way that you could have done it which wouldn't have been problematic, despite the fact that so many people, so many I people literally died because of this. It's, it's just it. gross. Yeah, I think there's a way that if you got married in a time where you could get married, but there were restrictions on your wedding, you could have like a little, you know, middle finger to the havoc that COVID has wrought but whilst respecting Absolutely. The, the havoc that it is. And for anyone and who's like, oh, but you don't stuff. know how stressful it is to plan. Yes, we do. We had to move our wedding. We had to move it twice. We chose to move it three times because we didn't want to make people ill in this way. There is absolutely ways that you can be considerate and not a dick, let alone rubbing the fact that 
people like our loved ones have literally died yeah. from a virus that you are now trivialising. During the virus, that is worse that it's happening during COVID as well. I'm glad that someone said this has to be some kind of joke. Did someone hack your Facebook? Kim. Hmm? Kim. Kim? Hmm? 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 Very bizarre. No. No to the COVID wedding. COVID wedding and COVID themed. This bride reused decor from her first wedding. <laughs> this one's a bit softer for you. Courtney and... Nick has been crossed out and Brian has been written. It's Brian. Instead of the 11th of December 2018, it's the 15th of December, the same year. Okay, so one of two things has happened here. I think the most probable thing is that someone has seen a wedding sign called Brian and thought, hey, let's troll this couple. I feel like... And they've moved it. Yeah. That's most probable. Or two, Courtney and Nick, some shit went down. Maybe there was an affair going on with Brian and they were like, shit, everything's there. Should we just get married? We just need a couple extra days to like sort some stuff out. Maybe the wedding didn't go great on on the 11th. And so they were like, we've got four days to turn this around. No, I think that Courtney and Nick were going to get married and it was like planned in advance broke up Courtney got with Brian didn't want to keep this exact same date moved it a bit but was like yeah I'll save some money honestly the other things we've seen I know what you're saying I can see it being a prank and I'm not trying to be naive you don't think this is a prank this is not the worst thing we've seen so far I I think this could easily in advance I think this is done after the 11th I think the 11th came and gone something bad happened on the wedding Mm, day and now Courtney and Brian are making it official I disagree with you. You think that somebody called Brian knew that Courtney was going to get married to Nick, decided not to, and then just chose on a whim to marry her four days later. I think that they could have broken up, like Courtney and Nick could have broken up like eight months before the wedding and Courtney got with Brian. They decided to get married, but couldn't get a venue for the same date. Yeah, so got it for four days after. Courtney was like, oh no. There are many holes in this. I don't even know we're trying to justify it. It's weird. Yeah. What you do. Bad prank or bad real event. Either way, bad. You decide. Let us know in the comments what you think happened with Courtney and Nick. This couple had one of the worst wedding cakes I've ever seen, and this is gonna need to be blood. It says the best is yet to come. Demi and Mike's. Oh, Demi married multiple Mike's. I don't know what that means. Maybe his Um, name's Mike's. The top of the cake is having to be blurred, and so is a certain word. Um, But we all know they just innocently meant the phrase of the best is yet to come. Woohoo! That's the best of our lives is forward after we get married. Why is this a wedding cake? Are you okay? Someone had to commission this. Yeah. Someone chose to accept this. But people make naughty cakes, but I've never heard of like a vulgar wedding cake. Wait, 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 hang on. Maybe it's like a hen stag cake, which makes it more acceptable, fitting the context. I still don't think it's like in great taste, but yeah, I think that's what's happened. And now this article is just like, ha ha, wedding, so bad. If this is yeah, like a, maybe, a Sten cake, fair. I mean, I still don't like it, but you do you. I'm now having to fabricate things. To make yourself feel better. I hope that's what's happened. This one with the handcuffs may be even worse. So we're having to blur the top again because it's very naughty. To have and to hold. To hold. Again, and this is a hen cake. Handcuffs on the side. This is absolutely a hen cake. Mm-hmm. Okay. I hope so. Are you, sure. Are you feeling better? No. Okay. No, Jamie, I'm not. What are you showing me? This couple asked guests to RSVP through Venmo, so they'd basically have to pay to attend. So is Venmo like PayPal? I think so. Okay. Bottom of the wedding invite says, we're kindly asking you to RSVP by contributing $50 per person towards the meal, desserts included. There's also a smaller card with the invite listing three places that registering for wedding gifts. Oh, so that's not the gift. It's been 15 years since huh. I planned my own wedding, so maybe this is more commonplace now. But it feels sort of cash grabby and tacky. Plus, I've been to this restaurant before and I can get a full meal and a drink for less than $30. I'm very much your guest's attendance is the gift. And then if they so wish of their own accord to give you a gift, to give you some money towards a honeymoon or setting up your lives together, whatever, that's completely their choice. If you are choosing to get money, it's not your guest's responsibility to pay for your wedding. I know in some cultures it works differently and I think that's fine if it's within a culture where it's very typical for guests to pay their meal and then give a gift on top. Well, we know, for example, in Romanian culture that Mm. it's very normal for you to ask around and find out, like it's not supposed to be paying your meal, but you find out how much it costs for a guest to be at the wedding and then you double that and give some money and the idea of that is you set up the couple with like a good chunk towards being able to buy a house Mm. that's the idea right but i will also say i think like all of our knowledge of weddings we're also speaking from a place of privilege right i think if like people did not have any money but still wanted to get married and they're like hey 
we're having a wedding. We're off to the registry and then we're going to go to a restaurant, but we can't afford for all of you. So, you know, like you pay for your place. Sure. I get it more. I see why some people say that it's tacky. Like in some contexts, this can be seen as quite reasonable. I still don't think it's commonplace though. And I'm just like, if you can't afford a wedding in that way, have a potluck in your back garden. Get people to bring some food. It's nicer than excluding other people in terms of money too. I think it also depends on how big you're wanting it. Because if we didn't have any money for a wedding, we did uh, like local registry and then we had a restaurant... Mm that we were asking people to pay their own way, I'd literally invite just like really the people close, that immediate you family. in a smaller way. Yeah. yeah, I'd have immediate family. We try and pay as much as we could. And then if they would like to contribute, that would be wonderful. What I wouldn't do is say, you can't RSVP unless you pay $50. Yeah. With no prior warning to guests that, like, I feel like if someone's written about this, they're probably not like the dad or the brother. You're or right. The if there's no prior married. warning, I think that's kind yeah. of odd. And, and if you're receiving that as a guest and you're like, yeah, yeah. I can Especially see if that, there's that also like a odd. gift registry and the money they're asking for costs more than the cost of the meal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I just got that as well. Yeah. So what you're saying is like, whatever the meal is, like they're literally profiting per guest. Yeah. And if you're skimming like $20 per guest, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Depends on how many guests you've got. But yeah, it could be a lot of money. Yeah. 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 I have no idea what the couple was going Jamie, for what with this. F- am I looking at? I think it's a skunk pooping on a wedding cake. Do you reckon it's a funny story? Like when they first met, a skunk had like skunked all over one of them. That sounded like an innuendo. The skunk. The skunk. Right. Skunk. Like, what's that term called? Spray. Is it called skunking? I'm sure they spray. Okay, you should definitely skunk. <laughs> this is like earlier today when I came down so happy, and Jamie was like, "What are you talking about?" I'm just like, "Well, bolognese is ragu. So why do we call it spag bol when we could call it spagu?" <laughs> like, and I was just like, "Shut up." Yeah, and I'm what? looking at you, and you're laughing at skunking, and I'm like, "I don't get it." <laughs> Okay, yes, spagoo. I have skunking. Spagoo. Spagoo. Not spagoo. It's spagoo, like ragu. Spagoo. Jero. Spagoo. You can do it too. With with spagoo. spagoo. (laughs) Let's end it on good old, are the straights okay? (laughs) I hate my partner before we've even gotten married. Uh, Finally, the couple that chose this cake topper already seems headed towards divorce. There's nothing quite like a bit of physical abuse on the top of your wedding cake, is there? I've seen a Fortnite version of this as well, and it's just like, you know that your husband-to-be has a hobby. It's become a real thing of, like, in straight couples, people really complaining about, typically, the woman complaining about the man gaming. It's a hobby. People just, have destroyed consoles and, like, deleted entire accounts. Like, imagine if you spent money on, like, Fortnite building yourself up and you bought skins and someone just deleted all of your progress. That's happened to people. And I'm like, you can't do that. If you don't, if you're not My compatible... My sister did that to me one time. <gasps> I was so mad. Which each... one? I'm going to have words. <laughs> we were younger. One of them did it to two of us. Mm-hmm. I think I know who did it. Yeah, you can get the vibe. We were, like, playing because we had Nintendo DSs and we were, like, doing... It was Super Mario World, you know, where, like, you bop about on yeah. the bottom screen and showed you, like, No, oh, I would be raging. Oh, dude, we got on past some hard levels and we were so excited and we were, like, playing at the same time and she was so mad that she didn't have one, mm. that she deleted on multiple occasions both of it. And I was like, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. But, yeah, like, I feel you. And at least she's a child. Yeah, like, I kind of get it. Because kids don't understand the ramifications. It's not. Like, this, it's done militia. This is just bizarre. Why would you want to highlight on your wedding cake, on your wedding day, the day when you are really fully coming together as a couple and, like, legally declaring your love for each other? Why do you want to highlight a tension within your relationship and then make it seem like it's funny to drag your husband away? Like, I get it. We all have stuff, right? Like, you spend too much time on your phone. Mm-hmm. You spend a lot of time playing Love and Pies and June's Journey and all this stuff. Like, sure, all right. Sometimes we all do things like that. I spend too much time doing stuff, I'm sure. Yes, you do. My point is, like, why would you put that at the top of your wedding cake? Yeah. What is, what is, what, like, why are you, tra- is that celebrating? That's just, that feels like trolling. Yeah. I just noticed is. the scratch marks. Oh. It kind of also feels like an attempt at humiliation. Yeah. Of like everybody laugh at my husband's stupid hobby. This doesn't feel like the grounds of like a a good healthy... start to a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Sad times. I think you'll be happy times to know that's the last one. Thank you. For today. I have found another article to do this again in the future. If you liked it, you can go find comment a new down wife below. <laughs> to do that with. <laughs>
That was very are the straights okay kind of <laughs> joke, Shaba. I'd love to ask something of you, Spuds. I was going to say Peaches, but we're on your channel, we Spuds. Are. Do you reckon, if you fancy, you could put down some really wholesome wedding moments from oh, personal experiences Shaba to, needs to read them. help my brain repair from the trauma of this video? I'd be so grateful. Okay, yeah, go leave that down below. But also let me know if you like this video and if you'd watch another episode of it because I thought it was quite fun. And yeah. Thumbs as... up, subscribe because he's amazing. That's what I was going to say. Go check out Shaba's <laughs> channel because she's amazing. And we also do fortnightly podcast episodes over on Shaba's channel. And don't forget to go check out the Paired app. The link and info is down in the description box. And as always, oh, you want to help? <laughs> as always thank you so so much for listening and thank you for joining today Shaba and Thanks I'll see you next me. time much bye. love bye